everybody how are you on this Monday afternoon I hope you guys are doing great uh, I am here on the cold prairie it's freezing uh, well it's like in the low 40s and yes I'm sitting outside because because I'm crazy <laughs> because um, I have a guy coming from Montana to look at um, some of our bucks we raise purebred Suffolk uh, sheep which they are a meat breed and we're selling eight 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 of our boys ready to go breeding and so we're advertising in the papers and stuff and so I had gotten a call from this guy from Montana who has a Texas accent so when he gets here I'm gonna say okay <laughs> I know Mo Montana people don't have an accent he has a very very thick southern uh Texas accent and it's it's awesome but he um yeah and he kept saying are you sure that you're the one I'm supposed to deal with? I'm all, yeah, I, I can handle it. Uh, too bad I couldn't, like, have someone here to videotape me. You guys could see me in action. <laughs> because I wear a lot of different hats. And, yeah, you could see me in action in the barn selling, <laughs> selling our books. I hope he takes them. So, anyway, uh, I wanted to give you guys an update and let you know how my first um, weekend went coming off of my detox. I, um... Uh, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> wow, I have a lot to say about that. It's been a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Um, my emotions are playing a little bit of um, tricks on me, if you will, making me feel blah today, making me, um, I, I'm, I'm emotional and um, got some things going on, and yeah. But uh, trying to work through it, of course, that's what, you know, we have to work through them, and I can say that coming off of the of the detox, which I mainly ate, well, I did only eat black drink black coffee water and protein, vegetables, and fruit. And so, yeah, it was it, I mean, it was great. I lost six pounds and I and I feel amazing. And so then, um, it was over on November the first. It was from October first to the thirty first. So it was over on November the first, and. So I love heavy whipping cream in my coffee, and I just put like a tablespoon, maybe two. I mean, I it's not that much, uh, but I gave me it gave me an instant stomach ache. I mean, I guess you would think with not having that in your system for 31 days, of course, maybe adding dairy back because I'm not lactose intolerant, but ooh, I got a little sick, and then so I was feeling kind of yucky. I I haven't had any well, I was gonna say I haven't had any cheese, but I did have cheese because. I did really, really well, and then Saturday night, Steve came home with a pizza. You know where I'm going with this? Okay, I had said to myself, and I think I told all you guys, <laughs> that I was not going to eat, uh, you know, anything off my plan. I was going to continue doing what I'm doing, and I really, you know, I'm close to getting under 200, and I really have a goal in my head, and, and it makes me... Losing this weight, I mean, I like I said in my last video, I'm, I I think better, I feel better. I'm down 174 pounds, and I I, I want to keep going, and so I I'm on a mission. <laughs> and then the pizza comes in the house. <laughs> okay, does the pizza? I mean, the pizza could have. I told Steve you could have put a vegetable on there. He's all well. The pizza sauce, it's tomatoes. Really, Stephen? Really? It was like a meat on meat on meat. <laughs> It was all meat and sodium, and it was so good. And I say it's so good because I had a piece, and I had not a little piece. I had one piece, but it was like it was a big piece. It was a big piece. I have not had pizza since June when I was in Chicago with Rob and Jolie. So yeah, it's been a while, and it was so good, and it gave me a little bit of a tummy ache. But boy, I think. What? Oh, and I'm sorry for my dog. We have a hound dog, a bloodhound, and he's very loud. Uh, so I, when I ate the pizza, I mean, it tasted good. I enjoyed it with my family. It was not a bad experience eating the pizza. I didn't vomit or anything like that. But, you know, I mean, it was really good. I don't want to make it sound like it was like this disgusting thing. It was more the emotion afterwards. I really felt like a stinking failure. I felt like, are you kidding me, Tina? You just ate that big old piece of pizza. I ate the crust. I ate it all. 
And Steve's looking at me going, well, how do you like? He's like, you want another piece? Uh, no. Um, it wasn't that I, I could eat, I could eat the whole thing. I, I mean, I could have, I, I, physically I could have, mentally I wouldn't have. And it's, it like, it, it was all in my head the way I felt, but it was a true feeling that I felt like a failure. Like I was crying and I felt like, okay, I ate this pizza. I'm a total loser. I totally told everybody I wasn't going to eat any bad food. And I was going to stay on my plan and look what I did. I'm just, I'm such a loser. And I just felt really bad about myself. And I know right now, I mean, this happened on Saturday night and it is Monday and I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally okay with it. I'm just sharing that with you that, that that was my experience with my feelings with eating that pizza. I mean, it was not nothing like when I was in Chicago because I'd had pizza in like three years, <laughs> but it was not like that at all. That was different. This was something where I had healthy food available to me. I had said to myself I wasn't going to have any, and I had it. It was like, why did I have it? And I'm trying to analyze everything, and I need to stop doing that because I just make myself crazy when I I just try to analyze it all. I just I ate the pizza, and it was really good, and I enjoyed it, and that's that. And I, you know. It's not something I'm going to eat every day, and I, you know, it's real life, and I know that. So I'm just sharing that with you. I'm totally over it. I just, it's amazing. I am an emotional eater, and and I, let me tell you, I can eat a lot, <laughs> and I did eat a lot, and of, of course, it got me up to 382 pounds. So here I said at 207, well, I haven't weighed. You know, I could be up. I don't know. That scares me too, but I'm, I'm eating protein and vegetables, and... I'm just really being mindful of what's going to my body. I'm back at the gym today at four o'clock. Yes! This guy better show up. I'm gonna be really, really, really mad if he comes at like three o'clock and I have to leave at 3.30. I'm gonna say, excuse me, sir, but you can wait here till 5.30 because I am not missing another workout day. I'm on antibiotics, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling strong, I need to go lift. I need it, I need it, I need it. So, Anyway, but that's just my experience coming off of the fast, you know, not fast, well, coming off the detox. Uh, you know, I need to just not beat myself up. I need to live my life, and it's okay. The pizza was really good, but I think it, it, it didn't make me physically sick, but it really messed with my head. Really bad. Really bad. And this is the first experience I've had with that, so I'm sharing it with you. All right, guys, I'm at almost eight minutes. Really? Okay, well, too bad this guy called and said that he was on his way here. I, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Kind of nervous because I'm here by myself. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know how many, you know, Montana Cowboys is bringing to my place. But, um, Trigger, what are you doing? You're a Look what you're doing. Look at him. What are you doing? What's in your mouth? Are you digging Trigger. Trigger. What are you doing? He's getting into, well, they're, those are dead tomatoes plants that I need to uh, remove. But okay, guys, um, have an amazing rest of your day and a great week. And I will be back soon. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.